as Kenya marks International Teachers Day today under the theme, the teachers we need for the education we want, the global imperative to reverse the teachers' shortage, various recommendations have been given to improve the impact, working conditions of teachers, and the quality of education teachers provide. Our reporter Joy Mochache prepared this report detailing a teacher's experience in shaping young minds. Teachers are at the heart of education and are often tasked with shaping students who will be the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. Though this can be seen as a heavy responsibility, those that bear it see it as a calling that they had to answer. Charles Awasi has been teaching for more than a decade, amassing wide knowledge on what makes an excellent teacher. Being a teacher, way back from my high school, when I saw the dedication of our teachers, especially the then my business teacher, and for sure, I can consider myself as an excellent teacher, having seen my learners succeed, especially in Kenya. Majority of my learners are doing well, and a successful teacher, an excellent teacher, is described. In Kenya, it is difficult to describe a teacher without seeing the outcome of the results. So, excellent teacher will always be considered when the students succeed. Teacher Awasi lauded the CBC system, saying that it has made parents more involved in their children's schoolwork, as opposed to the previous 844 system that relied heavily on the teacher's role in shaping the minds of children. We face is the lack of parental involvement. And I thank God that the coming of CBC, you have heard it, the outcry, both in social media and printed media. Parents are now complaining that the CBC is bad. It is not that the CBC is bad the parents are involved in it. All 844, the back was stopping with the teacher. You are given a child, the teacher wait for the, the parent wait for the results. The upbringing of the children has become a challenge to us as teachers, especially in a boarding school like this. So long as the learner is in school, a teacher should be around. So we do beyond the teaching profession. However, he noted that teaching has changed through the generations, with students having more access to technology and social media, leading to distracted students or students who believe that education is no longer the key to success. Growing and when we were in school, teaching dynamics have greatly changed. During our time, we grew knowing education is the key to success and the only way to earn a living. But introduction of social media have really changed the perception of learners of today and it's difficult for a teacher to convince a learner who can see earning money through TikTok, content creation and YouTube to sit in class and wait for success after close to 12 years in class. So the major challenge is the introduction of technology, especially the media where the learners can earn. Anybody can learn. They now consider education as the second option. They say education is a scam. Recently, Kenyan teacher Millicent Casillanes made her mark as one of the finalists who earned a place in the top 50 list of teachers in line to receive the Global Teacher Prize Award of 148 million shillings, a powerful incentive for teachers worldwide to do their best and follow suit to holistically educate students who will grow up to be contributors to society. A quote from William Arthur Ward says, the mediocre teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, the great teacher inspires. Reporting for Hope TV, I'm Joy Mochache.